one sec, one sec, let me get this going. Uh, all right. Mm. Cool. All right, so Shalom. Shalom. Shalom to the elect of Israel. Mm. All right, first we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rakar Kodosh. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us its truth. Okay, salutes to you, our king that's teaching his word to the elect in truth and sincerity. I, as his brothers from GMS London, England, okay, UK, you know, myself, Isaiah, and Kabash, you know, brothers come, you know, together, you know, for the spirit, man. We just want to do a video, uh, you know, speak about these scriptures, speak about the times, prophecies, okay, the times that we're living in is the end times, you know, yeah. that's clear to see, man. You know, yeah. you just look around, look at the news. Just observe these people and their spirits you know we're at the time where the, you know it's clearly things are collapsing people are failing mm -hmm. you know the system's failing you know we're in a time where things are being revealed who the wicked is you know and, and you know the truth of the Bible is shining you know everything written in the word is, is we can see coming to pass man it's mm -hmm. clear that we're in those times of the truth being revealed Right, who are the Israelites, you know, being the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, the twelve tribes, man, scattered. And the wicked being Esau Edom. Mm. In fact, we can, you know, Job nine and twenty-four. Okay. Mm. You know, we can start with that, man. Because that's ultimately the the one, you know, who's causing all the, the problems and wickedness in the earth. Right? It's Esau Edom, which is the so called white man. Those whose fathers go back to Esau, you know, they're the wicked in the earth. That's why we're seeing all the, uh, you know, alphabet groups, you know, practicing the ways of Sodom, you know, and Gomorrah. You know, we're seeing uh, um, all this wickedness with the, the food, you know, being polluted, mm. you know, GMO foods, sicknesses, chemtrails, you know, that's causing every, everyone to be sick. Ultimately, it comes back to the, the the rulers, which is the wicked. You know, we have wicked rulers, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, know, you wanted to say something? No, man. You say all. You say all, man. Mm -hmm. That's all it is, man. I mean, I mean, the job nine and twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Exactly. So yeah, the, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. So that's talking about the rulers. The rulership was given into the hands of the wicked though. So who's ruling today? Who's the one in power? And when you really, you know, check it out, you'll find it's those, you know, ones in a suit and ties, you know, in high rise buildings, you know, uh, uh, you know that call themselves uh, so-called white, all right? Those so-called white people, they're the ones that are ruling. They're the ones in power. Everything goes back to them. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to say the Chinese, you know, they got power. Whether you want to say the Arabs, so-called, you know, they got power and money and wealth. But who do they answer to? Who do they have to go back to? It's, it's Esau, the so-called white man. Mm -hmm. What's the most current, uh, uh, dominant currency? All right, whose face is on that money? Mm -hmm. It all goes back to Esau. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who is controlling high wealth, man? I am wife is in, is in control of who? He's so he don't, man. The, to begin with the Harris, you know, to begin with them, man. They are the one who in, in charge mm -hmm. of this planet Earth, man. The old world as well, you know, the movie industry, music industry, yeah. you know, all this entertainment industry as well, as well man. I may say, in general, it's all in, 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 in control of who? I mean, who is in control of them? It's the Esau, man. You know, to begin with the JWA. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're the one, man. Which yeah. is Amalek, man. Yeah. You know? And yeah, you, you're right, man. You know, they're the ones, like the Hollywood, mm -hmm. as you were saying, you know, all of that influence, mm -hmm. that's all, you know, being pushed by Esau, man. You know, uh, the, the, what did they call it? All the, um, the, the drug dealers, mm -hmm. you know, the, the gangsters, all of that, you know, wicked culture and all that. That image that, that they glorify, they you know through their movies, through their media, you know that's all being done, you know through the wicked elite. Even as you mentioned rightly, so them J double O's, man, mm -hmm. you know the juice. Yeah, you know, even, even when you speak about drug dealers, man, 
who is the real drug dealer, man? Now, who controls the pharmaceutical industry, man? Right. It's Easton, man. He's the one who controls what you you take in, man, when you are sick, man, or you are not feeling better, you know? Which are nothing but what? Drug, witchcraft, man. Pharmacia. Yeah, yeah. pharmacia, witchcraft. You know, so it's Iso. It's all go back to Iso. You know, he's the one who in charge of this earth right now. No matter where you go, you know, you go in the deep of Amazon, in the deep jungle of Africa, Iso is in control. He's the one who detects what you eat, what you not eat. I mean, uh, what you wear, you know, you eat what you wear, it's all come from Iso. You know, not, not from Jack. Yeah, Jack, they influence the culture and stuff like that but all this because of ESO allowing it you know even right now we see the the nuclear uh, or, uh, what they call it, nuclear development or let's say evolution it's all because ESO ESO is the one who given what he is being given the power of this planet earth he is the one who been given the blessing of, of the soul man mm -hmm. you know so he he pushed that technology, he pushed that uh, idea to, to the majority of the people of this planet Earth, man. Because they have no choice, man. You know, yeah. because what are they going to do, man? They have to do what ESO is doing. That's it. You know? That's yeah. it, man. Oh, many ESO is the one that's pushing these agendas. Mm -hmm. You know, which if I can uh, get a preset for you, because we're going to go back to that joke now yeah. as well, but just on the point that you were speaking on. Mm. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 and verse 2. It says, as the judge of the people is himself, mm. so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Mm. You know, so I was just, you know, thinking of that because you were saying how, you know, how Esau was pushing these agendas and these things and influences on the people. So how are the people under him in his city? How are they going to be? They're going to be as wicked as he is. Mm -hmm. Just as violent and just as wicked as these Edomites and these wicked elites are. That's the vibration that's on these people that you come across every day. Mm -hmm. They're the same, you know, uh, um, you know, adulterers. They're the same, uh, you know, homos, mm -hmm. you know, freaks. Because why? Because Esau has, you know, been promoting these things. And he's the biggest, you know, of, you know, those things himself. Yeah, he's the biggest of all, man. You know, pedophilias, you know. Yeah. You know, almost as a brother you have said, man. He's the one in the in control he's in the in charge, man. He's the one who in the forefront, man. He's the one who pushing that. You know, not Jack Jack they they they, they pull the what? The pattern in. That's all it yeah. is. But it's not like they are the one who pushing it. You know? And we understand like Jack when they take something, they take hold of something. They double it and they make it even more, you know. Yeah. But it's all where they did. What did it come from? It's from Esau, you know. As they say, the righteous when he from a lead, you know, so like from the excellent. Yeah, so the excellence of the righteous. So from that Proverbs uh, twelve, isn't it? Twelve. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know. Uh, let me see what. Because that's the thing, because, you know, Jake is in this kingdom, you know, underneath these heathens, man, underneath Esau and his rulership. So their environment around them, you know, is constantly, you know, uh, wickedness, you know, and they're not excusing, you know, Jake for the wickedness that they do because they have a choice. They can say, you know, no, you know, we, you know, we'll do the right thing, but they don't. Mm -hmm. But that still doesn't take away the part that Esau has to play because Esau is also uh, a seducing you know, our people with his, his media and also mm. his, his uh, you know, influence. Yeah, like music, you know, yeah. like we talked earlier, man. Yeah, yeah. It's about music, man. The, the, the way ESO uh, take this, I mean, uh, technology of music to the next level, you know, the instrument, you know, the message that you're pushing using those instruments, those melodies, you know, which in time passes was used to work for, for good things. But Esau is, 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 put his, is pushing them in negative things, man. You know, like he, he influences our people, he pays them money and everything so they can uh, influence other jacks to do what is not right, like killing each other, 
selling drugs, you know, you know, all this is being pushed through music, you know, so he should know what he's doing, you know, you know, and he's using the, the music as a, as a music movies as well to seduce our people, you know, from doing what is right to do what is, what he so wants, you know, long, you know. Yeah. We mentioned that we spoke about how you know uh, when King Saul had that evil spirit that troubled mm. him, yeah. King David used the instruments, mm. you know, to uh, uh, you know benefit him to remove that that weak, you know evil spirit mm. that was troubling him. Yeah. But we said how Esau he has the knowledge of of that, but he uses it mm. to destroy people, mm -hmm. to put them in a you know a, a, a way that's not benefiting them, mm. you know, like like you said, putting them in a low vibration or to encourage or influence them to mm. do evil yeah. you know with the uh, violent music mm -hmm. or the just the evil negative lyrics and the beats and instruments you know mm -hmm. the sounds so we see that Esau he's using this uh, knowledge and his rulership his power for evil yeah as I remember like he most uh, as we go back again to the prophets like he Esau was blessed with what the sword yeah. And the, he being the sword, is is what is manifesting what he, he is, man. Mm -hmm. You know, to the, to our people, even to the people, to this other nation as well, man. You know, but majority of our people, man. You know, to see our people in the lowest state, man. That's what he want. You know, from the beginning, he said he want to kill Jacob, really. Yeah. So he used different avenues, try to to degrade Jacob, to destroy Jacob, man. So music, movie, uh, pharmaceuticals work, you know, you know, this medicine that, uh, like, you, if you go back to the, those experiment that Israel was doing to our people, was it for the benefits of Israel, or for the benefits of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American? No. It was for the, the to destroy Jeff, man. You know, like, to skid, to skid, I mean, in experiment, man. You know, and many experiments they, they've done, man. Yeah. I've got a precept, just, uh, mm -hmm. if I may, just on that point that you were speaking about. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Psalms 55 and verse 21. Mm -hmm. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, basically, you know, that's the MO, that's of Esau, that's what he's about. Okay, he's constantly about how to destroy you, mm -hmm. how he can make war with you, how he can overcome you. Yeah. It's not to try and help you out or to try and make things better for you. Even though he may say things that sounds good, he might know what to tell you to say, oh yeah, no, I want to help you. Mm. I want to give you these yabs, you know, the shots, and it's going to help you. But we know that really in his mind, he wants to destroy you. And that's what's being proven and showing you that these things that Esau does, only ends up destroying you, side effects and all sorts of things that actually harm you, man. And that's not something new, man. Yeah. Let's go back to man called Aso, let's go back to man called Cain, if you believe in the reincarnation, man. It's all is in his agenda to see you Israel, you so called Negro Latino and Native America in, in a low estate, man. In in, in a destructive destructive mode, man. That's what he wants, man. Because what he know in his mind is what? The birthright, man. You know? He that the birthright that he lost from I mean to our power to our to our oh, our forefather Jacob, man. You know, he want to get to get I mean to gain it in, 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 in a in a kind of way. So how are you gonna do that is by you is what be in the, in the position that we are in, man. And remain the way you are. So he can get there and what put you even down. Or to destroy you completely, man. That's what he want. You know? But we understand yeah. according to the prophets, man, he's not gonna achieve that. That is in the mind of Mosiah to establish us in the in, in the rulership, man, to keep us the people that he the whole earth man is gonna come to bow down to, man. That's right. You know? That's a good point you made as well, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because ultimately what's he so so uh like focused on is that birthright. Mm -hmm. He wants to secure his rulership, his mm -hmm. kingdom, which like you said, he, he's not going to secure it. He's not going to have it because it's not meant for him. Mm -hmm. You know, so when our people see that 
you know all the hatred that these Edomites have for us why is it that we won't get along why is it that you know he's always doing evil unto us well you know why man you know and and the scriptures tell you that he has that perpetual hatred so we're never going to get along this and it always goes back to who's going to be in power who's going to be in rulership that's what it comes down to mm. so these Edomites their whole agenda is to keep you down mm. that's why you know when we saying these Edomites they want you to be like put low in your spirit that's why they you know come with the racism that's why yeah, they yeah. come with you know the uh, um, oppression mm. and all that because they know that they have to keep you down in order for them to stay up yeah so how can they do that by getting Jake to sin mm. getting you to go off putting pork in, in the food you know putting uh, bad vibration and negative uh, sounds and you know lyrics in the music and in the media and all these things to keep Jake in that black culture and mm. you know low vibration basically because they know the Lord you know uh, uh, you know hates when we sin when we go off yeah. and that's why we're in this captivity and position we're in is because we went off so Esau wants to keep us sinning yeah eventually you want I mean our people to take that technology man you know that technology that's gonna put it under your skin and that is yeah. no part of it that's a man that's a target man that's a that's the main agenda that they have in their head. Because once they accomplish that, they, they, they think that that's, that's going to put us more, it's going to put us always down, man. You know? That's, that's but, but, you know, most of the powerful he is, man, he put this in the trick book, man. You know? You know, like he, at the end, the Lord is going to show him, I mean, all that is all that is of imagined was vain, man. You know, because the Lord is gonna be the is elect, man. Those who the men and the women as well, man, that who are not gonna bow down to his agendas, man. They're gonna focus I mean, uh focus in what most are saying, man. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna be defied, man. They're gonna be uh solely or oh, trusting most man. And they, they're gonna be delivered, man. And right. Esau is going to be the way he is, man. He's going to go into captivity. You know? No? That's it. Um, mm. Do you have a, you have a scripture? Yeah. You, bring? you say, like, uh, to continue that? Go on. John 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Exactly, yeah, so if not, where and who is he? So it's clear to see who the wicked is that's ruling if you're going by the word, by the prophecies, all right? That shows we're at the end as well, man, because, you know, the scriptures, uh, Second Ezra 6 and 9, it says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob's the beginning that followed. So, you know, Esau has to be ruling now because it's clear to see we're at the end of the world. Mm -hmm. we got the nuclear missile technology, you know, that's being tested and, and you know, shot and you know perfected you know they we see the MOTB you know the implant that's that's being pushed so it's clearly we're in the times of the end we're hearing of wars and rumors of wars you know what's going on with Ukraine Russia mm -hmm. so it's clear to see that we are at the last days man the end days the time of the end and and the wicked has to be ruling so that's Esau but it says that it's been given into his hands so who has done that that's the Lord He's the one that gives power to nations. He's the ones that allow nations to rise and nations to fall. Oh, yeah. You know, so we're at the time where Esau, his, yeah, it's been given into his hands to rule, but it's also the time where he's going to fall, you know, because look at all the wickedness he's done. All right. He's even uh, covered the faces of the judges, it said. Mm. All right. Who put up uh, the image of the Lord as being uh, Edomite? That's, that's these, uh, you know, Edomites, that's what they've done. All right, Maccabee, uh, Maccabees 348, it tells you. Yeah, uh, Come on, come on, bring it out, man. Because that's what they did. They covered the faces of the true judges, which is who? You know, starting with the Lord, all right? How he looks, the people of the Bible, they all changed those images of being so-called, uh, you know, um, you know, black people or people of color, you know, and they changed those images to being image of, of uh, so-called white people man which is a lie it's a false it's falsehood it's not true it's the scriptures tell you yeah it's a blasphemy it has to be. 
yeah, but you know, that's blasphemy, man, yeah. and they can't be forgiven of that. You know, that, that and that's what they call iconoclasm, mm. the destruction of images, you know, image breaking. Mm. You know, because wherever you go in, you know, Europe, um, you know, you got those uh, relics, the icons, the dark images, you know, on back in time in the past, they'll show you that they were depicting the people of the Bible and the Lord with woolly hair, right? With uh, a brown skin, you know, people of color. You know, that's how the, the scriptures describes it. So mm. why is it that people think that the Lord looked like a blonde-haired, blue-eyed Edomite? Even to this day, man, like if you go to the Eastern Europe, they have some countries where they still have this image of um, Madonna, Black Madonna. Yeah. And child. Yeah, and child. Like yeah. if you look at Black Madonna and child, like it's what? In, in the Bible, it's, it's Mary and Ch what? Yahweh child. Whom yeah. the world Israel called, called him Jesus Christ, you yeah. know. So they depicted them as the black people, you know. You know. So these lies, man, make Esau even who who he is, man. You know. Mm. You know, wicked he is, man. He is a liar from the from the beginning, man. And a murderer, you know. He murdering our people, you know. He, to begin with, I mean, spiritual and physical, man. You know. All these false, I mean, uh, ideology, I mean, false, I mean, beliefs that the Israel is pushing to our people. It's all part of war, destroying our people, man. You know, but at the end of the day, man, it's all about prophets, man. It's Mosiah who is dealing with, man. You know, the elect, those are the people who are not going to be defied, man. You know? yeah. yeah, that's right. Uh, what was it? The scriptures tells you that uh, if it were possible, Mm. That he, they would deceive the very elect, but it's not possible. The elect aren't going to be deceived. You know, mm. the scripture says that my sheep hear my voice, and they follow me, and I know them. So mm. the elect, they got the truth. They're not going to be deceived into the false ideologies, the false mm. philosophies, because the Lord has guided them to the spirit of truth in these last days. So, because that's the thing, in the last days, you're going to have people that are going to be deceived. Mm. You have people that actually think they have the truth. They're gonna, you're gonna have people that think that they're all Christianity, yeah. Oh, they follow the Lord and 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 that, but really, they don't have the truth. Even the the, the people who come in the in the faith, man, they yeah. they call themselves so-called Israelites, man. There are some of them. It's like a, you know, they 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 are part of those two thirds, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. At the end, the end is not gonna be good for them. The only way will be not of those people, man. Yeah. You know, they though they believe. But their belief is not mixed with the faith, man. You know? So at the end, they're going to lose because they're going to, what? They're going to, uh, uh, what they call it? They're going to be more on the flesh than the spirit, man. You know? Yeah. They're going to believe on Esau lies. You know, when Esau come with the technology, they're going to be ready to bow down to, to Esau, believing that that's the way for their salvation, but actually it's, a, it's the way of destruction. It's a, it's a way for their destruction, man. you know? And this, uh, that's, that, that's how, uh, yeah, let me say, for lack of a better word, man, that's how uh, terrifying this truth is, man. You know, you, as the Bible says, men are called but few are chosen, you know? Yeah. So, and also it say like, he, seek your salvation with what with fear and trembling you know so this is part of of you to understand man like he, when you come in the faith in the truth man that's not it man it's all about you you, you go on to the end man endurance man you know that's the main focus he that endure to the end the same shall be saved yeah. man so we all trying you know, and we all pray, man, like he, the handy would to be good for us, man. You know, that's it because yeah, the scripture says that ye have not chosen me, mm -hmm. but I have chosen you. Right. You know, so this is a thing about predestination, it's already been chosen. But our role is that, like the scriptures tell you, to give diligence mm -hmm. to make your calling and election mm -hmm. sure. So, part of that diligence is going to the highways and byways, you know, doing the camp doing the videos, watching for the signs and the prophecies at the end, you know, as watchmen, 
you know, enduring unto the end, which Brother Riley said, it's about making it to the latter end, man, you know, to be delivered, you know, and we do that, you know, through obeying the word of the Lord, man. That's all it comes down to because we can't save ourselves, you know, you know, how, you know, this uh, kingdom falls and how it's going to collapse. The, the only way you're going to make it out is if the Lord delivers you. It's as simple as that. If you're of the elect, then he's going to deliver you. Mm. And if you're of the elect, you're going to have the truth. You know, that, that, that's just what it comes down to, man. Did you did you have something? Or, or uh, you had the Maccabees, yeah? Yeah, Maccabees, yeah. Yeah, Baruch Hashem, man. Okay. Yeah. This is because of first Maccabees 3 and 48. And he laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had, had sought to paint the likeness of their images. That's exactly what the heathen did, man. All right? Especially Esau. You know, he went and uh, painted over those images and put his image up, you know, that false image and exalted himself, you know, exalting his people, his image, you know, but ultimately it was the time, you know, like the, the Renaissance period, which means the rebirth, you know, for them to come into power, them to be in rulership. But now we're coming into the time where they're being exposed, where the truth is being declared. Okay. And their lies are being revealed that they're not the righteous people. They're not the chosen of the Lord, that the Lord don't look like them, mm -hmm. you know? So now that shows you that it's going to be time for them to go down, you know? So they have to pay for that. And the Lord sees that, that you know, that blasphemy they, that they committed. You know, the holy angels, are all, they, they claim that the angels were white, you know, white babies with wings, you mm -hmm. know, Cupid like that, blonde hair, naked. <laughs> naked as well. You know, so that's like, the Lord's looking at it like, you got to pay for that, you know? So this is what, what you know, the reason why this judgment is coming onto the, the nation of Edom and it's going to be so heavy. They got a lot to pay for, not to mention they put their, their hands on the apple of the Lord's eye, man, the Israelites. Mm -hmm. The slavery, all right, the oppression, you know, all these things, the Lord is gonna uh, uh, get justice for man. You know, not forget to forget Yahweh Shai, man. What yeah. they have done to Yahweh Shai, man. You know, yeah. though it was, I mean, <laughs> our people being in the forefront, but you allowing it is a problem, man. You know, you you allow you so you allow that. Yahweh Shai to, to be in that position, man. And so, though he was full, he fulfilling the promise, that's, but you got to to face what we have done, man. The consequence of what you have done, man. Like Yahweh Shai said, when he, when he comes, he's, he's going to come as what? Well, as a woman in travail. Mm -hmm. You know, also he said, what? Well, what? Well, uh, when he comes, he's going to come with the crowd, as you say in the book of Revelation 1 and 7, and them that appeased him. And then, yeah, that's you it. Know? So it's, most the, the Lord vengeance is always in his heart, man. He's gonna do to you is to begin with and everyone, even to the least of you, man. You know, the way you do to him and to the to, to his people, man. You know, though we transgress man, we become wicked, but that's not to neglect what must say I've said, man. You know? Yeah, we're still the Lord's chosen people. Yeah. At the end of the day. And also, the Lord is coming back for revenge, man, you know, and to establish his kingdom, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, um, what is it like? That's why the scripture says, you know, uh, sit thou at my right hand until mm -hmm. I make thy enemies thy footstool. Yeah. So, the re you know, our Lord, he went on the cross and, and, you know, for the sins, you know, of his people, you know, also, you know, basically to redeem us. But also, also now he's, he's more exalted. The Lord has exalted him, you know, the highest above the rest, man. You know, whereas at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, man. So it's going to come to the time where the Lord is going to return and he's going to get power over his enemies. Okay? Yeah. That's why the, the scripture says the slain of the Lord will be many. Yeah. He's coming back to deal with uh, many enemies, you know, and they're not going to be able to handle it. He's coming back as a full power, full force, man. You know, these people, they're going to, you know, be weakened when the Lord comes, just at the sight of what they're seeing. Scripture mm -hmm. says the hearts failing them for fear, mm -hmm. for the sight of what they're seeing and, and the things coming on the earth. 
you know, the Lord's going to invade this earth with chariots, you know, so could you oppose, you know, an army of angels, all right, to bring deliverance to the elect of his people, but also to de bring destruction to his enemies, the heathen nations, you know, those that don't repent also of his people. So we're coming into these times, man, all right, and this whole truth being revealed is a part of it. This truth has to be revealed to, the, to everywhere. Everyone has to deal with the truth, man. That yeah, who are the Lord's chosen people? Who are the wicked? You know, who are the heathen nations? You know, the Gentile nations. You know, you know the, the natural Gentiles. These things are, are going to be proclaimed in the forefront before the end. Which, if I can get a, a preset just on that, right? Matthew chapter twenty-four and verse fourteen, and it says, "And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world." For a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So that's the the you know role of this internet, you know, pushing forth the word, man. You know, be this this truth is being heard and preached by YouTube, you know, or through the YouTube, through the internet, it's spreading throughout different nations all over the world. It's global, okay. And the Lord set it up that way, you know, for the elect to hear and and be sealed, you know, and then the end is gonna come, man. You know, these nations, they, they know who the Israelites are, man. They can see the ones that went in slavery on slave ships. Deuteronomy 28, you know, the curses. You know, is, the, the Lord's people are waking up in these last days, man. You know, but it's through a remnant that's going to be delivered. You know? Yeah. You have, you have something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, man, like, uh, this gospel is not like, uh, the gospel is for us, man. Gospel means what? Good news, isn't it? But this truth, I mean, this word that you are coming out of our mouth through the speaking power of the Heavenly Father is not only for the Israelites, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, but also for the people of this world, man. All these nations, you know, because they have to hear before most have been judged. And who we use is man, the prophet, you know. We come to, to say before it happened, you know. So when it happened, most are going to be glorified, man, you know. So we're telling you, your future, your future is not going to be good. To begin with you, East of Eden, the so-called world, man, and the rest of you, people of the world, man, you know? Those of you are going to survive the destruction, your hand is going to be what? Captivity, man. Yeah. You know? That's what it is, man. You know, there's no running away from your destiny, you know, your judgment, you know? Whatever you have done to us is going to be done to you. What have you done to uh, to the people of Mosiah? You have put us in oppression. You have put us in, in, in slavery, in captivity. You know, you oppress us, you know, to this day, man. So what, what is going to be for you, man? You're going to go through the sun, man. You know, and that says the Lord, man. Not us, the Lord, man. As it is written, you know. Just like how our nation was ruined and destroyed. Mm. Well, so is the nation of Eden. You know, their kingdom, their empire, you know, especially with America, which is Babylon, you know, that's going to fall, man. But Babylon, which are thou art to be destroyed, okay, in one hour, you know, with those nuclear missiles, that's that's going to finish America off. And once America is destroyed, that's the end of the, you, you Edomites, man, and your rulership. Because the kingdom is going to be coming for the Lord's people, man. Mm -hmm. You know, like the brother said, the gospel meaning good news. That's the good news for us, man, because we caught hell in America. We caught hell in the lands where we've been scattered underneath you, you Edomites. So mm -hmm. when you go down, when your nation's brought low and, and you you go into captivity, that's when we're going to be, you know, risen in power, you know, under our Lord. Mm -hmm. This is what, you know, we're hastening the day for, man. The scripture says hasten the day, desiring that time, man. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're that much closer, you know. Yeah. I'm going to read this one. Google Revelation uh, 13 and the okay, 13 and 9, which leads he that have one uh, he, uh, if any man have one ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. You know, so all you nation that they have put us in captivity, know that your future is going to be what? Captivity, man. You know, and right now we are waiting, man. You know, we are waiting patient. Patient means what? Long suffering. 
you know, like a, like someone who is in the hospital, going through pain and the affliction, is waiting to work, to get to work better, you know? So that's what we do, man. We know that your, the, the time will come, man, that all the thing that you are going through is going to be work. It's going to be handled. And it's going to be beginning of your affliction, you know? So right now we are patient waiting, man, for the Lord. You know, we're not going to come flaunting, we say, any means to the, to this, or to this, to discourage the, the prophets, man. We're going to be waiting for the prophets to come to pray. And once the, everything is said and done, you nations that you have put us in captivity, you're going to go in captivity, you know? Uh, uh, in Galatians, say, 6 and some 7, I believe. Yeah, what that you which you receive, no, or that which you sow, yeah. that which you shall reap. You shall reap, man. Most it, yeah, and most is not to work. Uh, uh, so that can, I mean, for lack of better, I mean, yeah, man, most is not going to be, it's not going to be mocked, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's, yeah, uh, uh, be not deceived. Yeah. The most high is not mocked. Come that on. which he sow, if that shall you also reap. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. whatever you have sown, man, all the abomination, the wickedness, the uh, 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 atrocity that you have, your your oppression that you have put on our people, is going to be rewarded to you the same way, man. Even double. You know. Yeah, that's that's right, man. No, it's true what you're saying, because yeah, these Edomites they get proud, innit? Mm -hmm. They think, oh yeah, see, look, the most high hasn't done nothing. Oh yeah, you know, we look, we've done this to to his people, we've done that. Put them alligator bait for their mm. children. Yeah, we throw them overboard on the slave ships. You know, we, you know, poison the air, the food, the water there, and the law's not done anything. Mm. Like even the scriptures tell you, uh, uh, you know, that their possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Okay, but you know that doesn't mean, you know, that you're gonna get away. You know, you know, scot free. No, no, the Lord is gonna bring judgment in His time. You know, you nations, you know, you're going to be going into slavery, man. You know, that's the judgment, man. The scripture says that it's a righteous thing to uh, recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Mm. So payback is righteous in the scriptures yeah. when it's of the Lord, you know, mm. because all many we're waiting upon the Lord. The Lord is the one that's going to give us power to get the revenge. Yeah, okay. this is okay. Okay. It's a book of Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is full set in them to do evil. That's it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. there's a time and place. Yeah. You know, the Lord's timing. You know, so, yeah, you know, when we went down in slavery, you know, that was a time when we were to go down. But does that mean that there's not going to be a judgment for those people that put us in slavery? No, it's just not at that time immediately. But there will be a time where you nations are going to pay, you know, because that's the judgment. You know, we've read it. The divine judgment is that they that led into captivity shall go into captivity. So, you know, but these Edomites, they're proud, man, you mm -hmm. know. So they're going to keep doing their wickedness. They're, they're going to, you know, come with these NWO plans, try and implement the uh, implant, you know, for these people, you know, everyone, because, you know, that's in their mind. It's just continually evil. Until the Lord brings that judgment and, and says enough is enough, mm. and that's what's coming. Mm. And, and it's going to be worse. When you hear my scripture says that they shall have no mercy, that have shown no mercy. Mm. So when it's your time to go down, <laughs> there's not going to be any mercy for you. It's just going to be that judgment. Mm. You know, the scripture says, "With their sins have mounted up into heaven." So the Lord's with He will let you build that tab, but then when the time comes for judgment, that's when He gets you, man. You know, and you can't escape. So, you know, the scripture says well, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Mm. And that's it, man. You don't want to be escaping your, 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 your destiny, man. Your destiny is your destruction. It's to be destroyed, man, at the end of the day, because you're proud, you know. you always been in the forefront, want to be like Moshe, you know. But that's, it's going to end it when the Lord comes, man, you know, because your your mindset is to chip everyone to become like Mosiah who he is, man, 
you know, to uh, control people' emotions. Where they, I mean, they they are aware about me, what they eat, what they not gonna eat. I mean, what they don't eat. You know, all that is gonna be handled, man. You control the feelings through that technology. It's all gonna be handled, man. You know, so your 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 kind of mind is gonna be stopped. You know. Yeah, you got anything? Yeah, just think that. Yeah, I may mean, continue to be this as for Ecclesiastes 8 and 12 and 8. Though a sinner do evil an hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear most I, which fear before him. You know, and who fear most I? The Israelite, that's right, to begin with the elect. The majority of these people of this world, they don't fear most yet. They don't exalt the righteousness of the heavenly Father, including the two thirds of our people. Man. You know, it's only the the up for elect you know, who are the the ones that now are trying to the best of their ability to uh, to 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 do what is right, what is what is pleasing to the heavenly Father, to exalt the righteousness of the heavenly Father. Man. You know, while the majority of the people of this world, they are busy work going against it. You know, so at the end of the day, man, destruction is gonna be upon you. You know, that's it. Your yeah, your end is coming, man. Your downfall is near for you, Edomites, man. Because it's clear you're not fit to rule. You know, everything in the earth is is failing and going from bad to worse because you're ruling. You know, that's why you have people, you know, uh, always complaining, man. Which I've got this precept. Uh, this is Proverbs 29 and verse 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And, and the people are not rejoicing now because you have the wicked that's ruling. The righteous are the Israelites, you know, and starting with our Lord. Okay, whose kingdom, when it is established on the earth, that's when you're going to have righteousness cover, you know, the earth like the waters cover the sea. That's what the scriptures tell you. Okay, because things are going to be done fairly. Things are going to be done justly. The laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible are going to be established. Mm -hmm. Not like how it is now, where you have these Edomites holding the Bible in one hand, saying that they're going by the Bible, but really they're doing the opposite of the Bible. So mm -hmm. it's no wonder why you have the earth, you know, in chaos and people are mourning. Confused. And confused because you've got the devil ruling. Okay? You gonna say something? Yeah, even the one they came with, like in America, in Africa, they came with the, with the Bible on the other hand, gun on the on the other side. Exactly. On the other hand, man. Real gangsters. They're the real gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wicked the, gangsters. Wicked. The, man. the real bad one, man. The real bad man. man. But you're right. That's exactly what they did. They came, yeah. you know, basically with false doctrine. Yeah. That's basically what it was, man. Because that's what they do. You know, they can hold the Bible all they want. But that doesn't mean that they're actually going by what the Bible says. Mm. You know, they're, they're uh, uh, you know, putting their own uh, doctrine over it, which is false false doctrine. Yeah. Okay? The same Christianity that the one who bombing Iraq in the yeah. They are the one who bombing uh, Iran. I mean, uh, Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia. I mean, no, so, no, sorry. Iraq and Syria and also Libya. The same Christian, man. Yeah. The same Christianity, man, they came, they went in Africa with the Bible and take jacks from there and put them in captivity, man. And also the same Christianity, man, came with the Bible and the one who went in the Congo, man, chopping hands of the yeah, yeah. of the children of those who were working uh what in the labor plantation. I mean on the what the labor plantation, man. You know? If those they didn't come with a uh, with a large amount, what happened to their children? They chopped their children hands, man. No, they were they were known as Christian man. You know, to this day, man, they still saying they're Christian. They go around the world, terrorizing nations, put the people in fear. You know, you know, destroying culture, destroying everything, and they put in their own culture, their own uh, wicked uh, uh, ideology man, and and invention. Man. Like in men can be women, you know. Yeah, they are Christian when they hold back with it. You know, they 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 
they swear they are, they, they, they are president using Bible. You go in their court, I mean, uh, what was the court room, what they say? Yeah, yeah. yeah? What they, 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 the lawyer say, man, if you want to, 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 to witness about something, they use it Bible. So they are all about say they are all, one side they say they are they they what they 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 with mosquitoes but on the other side they are not with mosquitoes man. For the scripture says, "What well, marvel not if Satan be transformed into an angel of light?" You know, and you know what helps goes with that because of that false image of the Lord, man, like a, a blonde hair, blue eyed, you know, uh, you know, Christ as they say, man, you know. That's the, under the image that they do these things, man. But really, they're the wicked, man. And that's why all many people are mourning, man. All right? Like, if, when I finish off, it says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So these Edomites are causing people to mourn, man, because they're the wicked. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not supposed to rule forever. They're actually a great example of how not to rule. They're an example of how to uh you know anger the lord man because the scriptures tell you that the lord's angry with the wicked every day mm -hmm. imagine the lord seeing everything that's going on in the earth he's seeing all the you know the harm that they're doing to the children you know in those rings we understand you know we've got a speaking code but you know what i mean that like that the wicked elites the catholic church and all them people do the lord's seeing all these things man you know he's seeing all the uh pollution of the earth who's doing that that's these edomites the scriptures tell you that you know the Lord is gonna destroy them that destroy the earth. Mm -hmm. Who's destroying the earth? Who's taking all the resources and, and drilling and taking all the oil and uh, um, you know creating oil spills and, and polluting the ocean, making the animals jump out of the ocean and beach themselves? You know, we're causing all sickness and disease in the earth. Who's doing that to the earth, man? That's these Edomites. So it's no wonder the Lord is gonna get rid of them. Yeah, he put them in power for a time, but now it's gonna be the laws that you gotta go, man. Mm. You know, and that's that's what it's coming down to. You yeah, know? man. It's, it's not of the of this world, man. He says he he have no future in this earth, man. Yeah. This earth, this earth is about to be turned to paradise, but he says not gonna be in it, man. It's gonna be yeah. taken out, man. Yeah, you know, because of the way he have. Establish himself, man, from the beginning, man. All the way he have lived is nothing but to destroy the earth and the people and the and everything, you know. Because he is no of this world. Dog doesn't belong here, man. You know, mm. especially and that influence come from where? From America, you know. America that is that sit that is, is sit on, on top of all cities, man. You know, pushing this ideology, this philosophy. And the blasphemy, man, all over the world, you know, yeah. where all people of the world uh, get influenced of what uh, with America, and now they they start following what America says, man, you know, almost. I mean, you know, you know what it is. Then people, man, then 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 what they go <laughs> alphabet <laughs> groups, alphabet group, yeah, <laughs> you know, you say it like that, you know, yeah, man, so. All this influence come from where? From America. And what the Bible said, man. You know? Either that you live in the way of the Sodom, it's gonna be what? It's gonna be destroyed by fire. Just to love paraphrase. You know, yeah. as it is in the book of uh, Peter, man. Second Peter, I believe. Yeah, it's made an example. Yeah, the example. But then the after should live ungodly. Yeah. That's what's happening, man. So Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed for things that is, you know, less than what they're doing now. So mm -hmm. what do you think is going to happen in these times? The judgment's going to be way worse. Mm -hmm. And the America is known as a spiritual Edom. I mean, the spiritual Sodom, Sodom and the Egypt. Man. Egypt. Sodom be because of the practice that they are doing right now to influence the world. And the Egypt as, as a bondage, as, as, as a bondage of our people. Captivity to, to our people, man. The Israel. You know? So, Moshe is against America. And the America... It's gonna be destroyed by fire if you believe it or not. You know, that's a future for America. There's no other future but destruction by fire. America is gonna be known as a lake of fire. You know? You know? That's it, man. Mm -hmm. You have anything? 
Yeah, let's see, let's, you can get, uh, you can get, uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Uh -huh. Builds on that. Wisdom of Solomon 5. Okay. 5 and 1 on down. Because, yeah, because we're in a time where, you know, the truth is being revealed. All right. Who the wicked is. And we know that the Lord is coming back, man. You know, and he's going to deliver his people. You know, the elect, not all of the Lord's people are going to be delivered on this side. But it's only a certain few. The ones that repent, the ones that return unto the Lord through his truth, that obey his word. You know, that they continue in this faith. You know, that have been continuing to show their faith by their works as well. You know, the Lord's not going to forget that. You know, so through all the times of tribulation, through the times of persecution, you know, when the hour of temptation comes, you know, famines, uh, uh, earthquakes, pestilence, whatever, man, you name it. Because at the end of the kingdom, it always gets ugly. <laughs> it always gets rough. Of course, man. You know, when the benefits are taken away, when the system's collapsing, and it's like you're on your own, so to speak, you know, no government or no, none of these things for you. What do we do? Well, we're going to, you know, the elect, they're going to rely on the Lord, man. Like the scripture says, my servant shall eat. So the elect are going to be taken care of. Now, even though it's going to be rough, because the scripture says that the elect um, shall be uh, scarcely. scarcely saved. Yeah, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. But nonetheless, they will be saved, though. Yeah. You know? That's what, we, that's what we have to speak as well, man. They took the, 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 the Revelation 14, 16 going down, man. You know, which is the hour of temptation, which is also known as oh, the time of Jacob trouble. You know, where when Esau implement the the technology, you know, is NWO, which is gonna be every influencer with that technology are probably the microchip. You know. You Jacob, you Israel, man, you are the most to be suffered. I mean you are the number one people to go through hard time, man. You know? If you are not with the Lord, it's gonna be hit, man. You're going to have to go to Esau. And once you are in with Esau, your end is not going to be all right. You know, you're going to be destroyed, man, as the Bible says. Because whoever going to take that technology, which is written in the book of Revelation 13, 16, going down, you have no hope, man. You know, if you be of Israel, because all of Israel have hope. If you take the technology, you're going to have no hope, man. Only destruction, man. You know, you, you're not going to be going in the kingdom in the first goal, man. You're going to have to come in the second round. You know? And the, guess what? You're going to find them that you will maintain faith in this side. Man. And they're going to be on top of you. Because it's going to be level, man. You know? It's not going to be, yes, we're all going to be blessed. We're all going to be in the kingdom of heaven, but it's going to be level, you know? So time is now, man, to get light with the Lord, man, to amend your way and you follow what Moses said and you walk. So you can have uh, the beginning, the future, be I mean, the the bright, brighter beginning, it is. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Instead, can we get Revelations 2? We'll close on that. Revelations 2 and 25, I think. Because that goes into like overcoming all the things as, as well. Mm. It's a good scripture. Mm. Yeah, we'll end on that. Now, this is the book of Revelation 2 and 25. But that which ye have already, I mean, uh, but that which ye have already, or the first till I come. Yeah, and what do we have already? This, this truth, the faith. You know, we got the word. And the scriptures tell you that the, the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, man. So that's what's going to keep us stable in unstable times. You know, mm -hmm. when there's no food in the markets, when there's riots and there's chaos all around us, we're going to have that comfort. And we're going to have the stability of all this time that we've had this word and the Lord has been guiding us and building us up. We're going to know what's going on. We're going to know you know what to do because we're gonna be steady because this word is you know we got this word and the spirit of the lord you know so that's what's you know most important it's not about money it's not about 
the, the riches or you know because really the real riches is this word man mm -hmm. if you have this word that's that's what's going to lead to salvation you know and riches the kingdom everything yeah, because uh, what do you have in this side man nothing man to be honest this is not your last your ears were to give uh, i'm speaking to you man because you don't have any last year you are in 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 a, in a place of war uh, uh in, 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 in bondage, man, you say, or oh, in captivity. You are here to solve your punishment. That's all you are here for, man. So everything, first of all, first and foremost, that you, you have, or you may have in, 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 in near future, if you are still in this system, it's all going to be destroyed, man. Everything of this world is perishable. But the, few, the, 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 the thing that you're going to obtain in the kingdom is going to be forever. You know, that's why the Bible says, seek ye the kingdom of heaven, and everything that, that everything shall be what? Well, shall be handed down to you. That's it. You know? I'm going on. Let's see as well. Revelation 2 and 6 says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the hand, to him will I give power over the nations. Exactly. Yeah, so he that overcometh, like you're saying, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, World War Three. You know persecution being behind prison you know uh, being hated of all men you know all people uh, you know against you you have to overcome all these things man overcoming your flesh mm. you know we constantly fighting the flesh the weakness of the flesh this Lord said the spirit is willing but indeed the flesh is weak so even that is something that is a constant thing to overcome but we're going to do it, you know, the elect that will overcome through the Lord, man. You know, that's that's why the Lord went on the cross, man. You know, because the scripture says that they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. So if we have Yahweh Shai, then that's how we're going to overcome, man. It's through Him. You know, He's the one that's going to deliver, you know, the elect. Mm. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has already set it up. Who's going to overcome? We, Lord willing, have to just get to that point. We have to make it. We have to endure. Mm -hmm. It's a fight. Mm -hmm. Apostle Paul said, "What well, fight the good fight of faith?" Mm -hmm. You know, you know, for that crown. You know, at the end, man, that's what we want. It's about that crown, man. It's about rulership, power, being perfect. You know, being back in our royal state and position in the earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what you know is uh, coming up to. Because remember mm -hmm. the reward um, for the disciples. Peter asked the Lord, mm. Lord, we've forsaken all. Yes. Yeah. What shall we have there for? Yeah. And he told them straight, he said, look, you that have followed me in the regeneration, that's come back, you know, in the end days, following my word, believing in me, you're going to receive everything but a hundredfold. Mm. Lands, women, money, whatever it is that we sacrificed and lost for the faith in the Lord, we're going to receive it continually because, you know, the kingdom is forever. So it's just going to be forever blessings. That's like the best deal. Of course, it's the best deal, man. <laughs> yes, you know, that the Lord has given, you yeah. know. But it's, it's set up because only a few are going to understand, that. understand and, and, you know, make it. Yeah, maintain the, the work in the spirit, man. You know, because so everything is started in the spirit, man. Yeah. You know, we've all been called, but few have chosen. So... At the end of the day, it's those who are going to maintain in the spirit, not in the flesh, you know. Because the majority of our people are going to what, rely on the flesh. That's it. Yeah, that, that's what they're they, 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 they going to what? They're going to miss the, the hand, man. Or I may say they're going to make it long, man. You know, for lack of a better word, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why the laws, you know... Uh, you know, seeking for the Israel of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Remember, the scripture speaks about it. it says the Israel of the Most High, man. You know, not all Israel are of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay, because then you don't have Israelites that are leaning more to the flesh, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you know they're not seeking after the Lord and His Word, being spiritual. Mm -hmm. And it's true what you're saying because in the hour of temptation and times to come, people that rely on their flesh, they're not going to make it. Mm -hmm. Because what does the flesh tell you? Oh, I'm hungry. I need to eat now. It doesn't matter what the food is. It doesn't matter if it's pork, yeah. which is wicked. You know, you're not supposed to eat that. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it, the flesh is going to say, oh, you know, it's going to go against righteousness. 
because it wants to eat. That's the nature of the flesh. So if you lean on that, you're going to be destroyed, man. But if you're leaning on the spirit, and you walk in the spirit, then that's what's going to lead to salvation, man. Yeah, even the, the day we are finished, man, the day of atonement, it's a, it's a precursor for what is coming as well, man. Like, he, Mosiah is, is building us, you know? Because there's a time will come, man, like we may go two days without food, man. You know, so right now, we practice the latches, that's just out of the heavenly father, like keeping the day of atonement, the Sabbath days, you know, and all these other holidays, high holidays, it's all part of faith, you know, and it's just to show we, we trust in who? In most child and the power of fresh, man. You know, so at the end, when you, when all hell break loose, like the, there's no food, you know, we're going to be able to survive by the spirit, you know. Because everything started in the spirit, you know, and it manifests in the fresh. So we're gonna be able to to endure, to to overcome by the spirit in power of the heavenly Father. While the majority of our people, because they've been they've been not accustomed to do or to practice the righteous act of the heavenly Father, even the day of atonement, they're gonna be able to. They're not gonna be able to what, as you say, man. They're gonna rely on the flesh. Not gonna be able to overcome their feelings, man. They're not going to have the faith. Yeah, faith. That's what it comes down to, man. Yeah. Who's going to have the faith and believe? Mm. That's what pleases the Lord. Yeah. Without faith, uh, it's impossible to please the Lord. Yeah. Remember, the scripture says that uh, uh, when the Lord comes, shall he find faith on the earth? Yeah. So it's about faith. And the elect are going to have the faith, as you you know beautifully said, man, through the point, you know, the point you made, mm. through the spirit, man. You know, yeah. you know we're going to be accustomed you know, to rely relying on the Lord, man. You know, in the times of need. Yeah. You know, not relying on the flesh, but you know, having faith in the Lord, man. Yeah. So yeah, let's go. Uh, if you got anything else to say, or well, you wanna finish that? Let me finish, man. Uh, okay. uh, and he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a load of iron. At the vessel of the porter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. That's it. That's it. So yeah, so and basically, yeah, you gotta overcome all those things, man, and keep the works, which is doing what we're doing. You know, we're starting with our apostles, going to the camp, doing the videos, you know, and there's a reward for that. You know, the Lord's gonna give you position, power in the kingdom, you know, he's gonna give you a righteous seat, you know, everlasting too. You're not going to be able to, like, no one's going to be able to take it from you. Mm. It's not like you can be, like, I get a wicked record deal here, and then all of a sudden you go broke, you know, or, you, you know, they put some scandal out there, and now you're in prison. <laughs> you know, like, what is it, like R. Kelly or something? Yeah. Or, or Bill Cosby or one of them guys. They always, they rise, but then they fall, you know? Mm. No, it's not going to be like that in the kingdom. The Lord's going to give you that righteous uh, power, man. You know, and it's going to be forever. Yeah, it's uh, like before you ask it, so it shall be given to wow. you, man. See? That's what it is coming in the kingdom, man. So we're going to have what is most self prepared for us, not what man have prepared for us, man. Wow, that's it. You know? That's it. Mm -hmm. What does the scripture say? Lay your treasures in heaven, mm -hmm. not on earth where, you know, it's corruptible. You know, so that's what, that's what it is, man. There is reward, man, for this. The Lord is... is like not unrighteous to, to forget your works and labor of love, man. Mm -hmm. And these heathens are going to get beat down in the kingdom too, man. That's what it said. A rod of iron. Mm -hmm. They're going to be broken to pieces. So that's what they can look forward to, man, too, man. Because they got to get punished. That's righteousness. That, that's a little thing called justice. All right. They call that justice, man. Mm -hmm. But then after that period, you know, of a thousand years, they're going to be, these things are going to be cool. You know, they get their lands, you know. They pay their tributes, you know, we get, you know, what's done to us, due to us, and things is going to be, you know, we're going to be laying out the judgments, you know, we're going to be rulers. Yeah. But things are going to be, people are going to rejoice, man, because they're going to see the righteous rulership. Yeah. You yeah. know? They're going to see paradise, man. Paradise. Manifested before is their eyes, man. You know, because nothing now is, is seen, I mean, it's is livable, man. Yeah. <laughs> people, are in, as you said before, man, when when the wicked are in authority, people mourn.
So that's what we see. The condition of people is like in a mourning state, man. Yeah. You know? So in the kingdom, it's going to be proper, I mean, righteousness, perfection, paradise is going to be on the earth. People are going to be what? Be in, 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 in a light frequency, I'm going to say. You know, the food we eat, the water we drink, I mean, the air we breathe, man. We are who are, gonna, who are the people gonna be managing the, all, all those stuff, man, to, to come to that point, man. It's us, man, the Israel, to begin with the elect, you know. Oh, Lord, be on top, man. You know. Yeah, remember, you know, that when the Israelites are ruling, there's gonna be no more war in the earth. Yeah. Remember, there's gonna be no more war. Imagine that a world where there's no more war. That's not what we're headed for now. Now we're headed for nuclear destruction. Mm -hmm. That's what the world's headed for now. So that's how you know that this ain't the kingdom. That's how you know that this is the rulership of the wicked. But in the kingdom, you know, the nations are not going to learn war anymore. You know, you're going to have the righteous rulership. You know, things are going to be at peace, man. The Lord is actually going to look down on the earth, on this kingdom, and he's going to be smiling, man. You know, he's going to be like, you know, this is a kingdom that's righteous in order because scripture says that's the Lord's prayer. May it be on, on, on earth as it is in heaven. Things being perfect in the righteous order and, you know, things that's pleasing to the Lord, man. You know? So, yeah, do you have anything else you want to say? Yeah, so, yeah, that's really it, man. Lord willing, those edifying, you know, to you listeners and learners and sincere believers, you know. And uh, we're going to close here, man. We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Taught us this truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, and to the elect out there, we'll say Shalom. Shalom.